conservation of momentum. In this experiment, we will investigate the conservation of momentum during a collision. The apparatus, a dynamics trolley, a rail track, a ticker timer, a mass piece of known mass, ticker tape, and a 12 volt battery with leads. The method, set up the trolley of known mass, capital M, on the rail, feed a length of ticker tape through the timer and attach it to the rear end of the trolley. The timer has been set at 40 hertz. This will give 40 dots per second. Hold a mass piece of known mass, small m, midway above the rail, allowing the trolley to pass underneath it. Switch on the timer and give the trolley a gentle thrust, sufficient to let it run the full length of the trolley. When the trolley is below the mass piece, let the mass piece fall onto the trolley. When the run is complete, remove the tape and calculate the velocity of the trolley before and after the collision. Remember that velocity is equal to the displacement divided by the time. The distance between 10 dots is covered in a quarter of a second. The mass of the trolley, capital M, was 0.5 kilograms. The mass of the mass piece, small m, 0.25 kilograms. The velocity before collision was 0.38 meters per second. The velocity after collision was 0.24 meters per second. Capital M times V1, which is the mass of the trolley times velocity before collision was equal to 0.5 times 0.38, which was equal to 0.19 kilograms meter per second. Total mass, capital M plus small m, times velocity after collision equals 0.75 times 0.24, which is equal to 0.18 kilogram meters per second. This presentation was brought to you by the Cape Town Science Centre, made possible by the sponsorship of the Western Cape Education Department.